morning, Rose Red Homestead, and welcome to another Micro Moment Monday. And today we're going to talk about news galore. We have tons of news. First thing I want to address is that um, about a bread maker. Now, last week I put out a request on our community page for um, you all to respond to my question about whether or not you would like for us to do some videos on bread makers. My uh, daughter and son-in-law had been over helping us with some projects and they got to talking about their bread maker that they just love. That's the only way they do bread. And they suggested, why don't you do some videos on that? So I never thought personally that I would ever use a bread maker, but I got to thinking about it and thinking that perhaps it might be something of interest. And wow, was it ever something of interest. We had, um, a thousand thumbs up and hundreds and hundreds of comments and most of those almost all of the comments were very much in favor of using bread machines and so many people have used them successfully uh, the way that i look at it was even though i didn't think that it would ever be useful to me i may be changing my mind on that just a little bit because uh, as i read little snippets of stories that people included in their comments so many people said that they can no longer have the strength in their hands because of arthritis or any some other situation. They can no longer knead bread by hand and many cannot afford a stand mixer. And so a bread machine has been the answer for them. And, and what an advantage that would be for anyone in that situation. Also, many people said because of their um, busy, busy schedules, that's the only way that they can make bread too. It, it was such an advantage to be able to have the bread mixer, the bread machine going in the background while they were doing other things. And a lot of people just use a bread machine to mix and knead the bread. Then they'll pull the dough out, shape it and bake it in their own oven. So there's lots of possibilities. So I went ahead and bought my own bread maker. I um, ended up after all the recommendations uh, there was a Japanese model that was by far the most preferred. It was on the more expensive, the most expensive end. And I just decided I wasn't going to go to that big of an expense until I figured out whether or not I was going to really use it. And so I went more toward the lower end and I got um, a Cuisinart. And um, I just want to show you the very first loaf of bread that I have baked in my bread baker. So ta-da! There it is. We've eaten part of it, of course, but it has a really lovely crumb and um, it does have a hole in the bottom. I was able to pull the beater out before it baked, so it doesn't have that great big hole in the back just for the little spindle. And uh, it makes great toast and we've used it for sandwiches and a few things. So it has turned out the taste is pretty good. Um, so. I still have a long way to go on my learning curve and we won't be doing videos until I'm more sure about myself and have in fact developed some recipes that we can use in off-grid situations. And I also want to test it to be sure that it is um, usable on our Bluetti so we could use it in a grid down situation. So that's just a little tidbit of news on the bread maker videos coming up, but they won't be coming up until after I have mastered a few more things. So it will be a few weeks yet before you'll see any videos on bread making. We've also had a um, request from a lot of people about situations on our Amazon store. Some people could get to the store, but the products do not show up. And from all we can understand is that uh, from some of the hints that we've gotten from other people is that if you have your privacy settings way high or if you have blocked ads from coming up on your devices, that may be the reason why the products aren't showing. Many, many people don't have a problem with it. So it's not a problem with our site. It may be a problem with your device in terms of your privacy settings or your settings for ads. Also, our Amazon store is not on Amazon.com. We can't have a little store on Amazon.com because we're just reselling their own products. If we were to have aprons or t-shirts or things like that um, from a different source, then we could have a store on Amazon. Our store is not on Amazon. Our store is on our web page. And I'll put the link right here. Our web page is this. And you just go there and up at the top, we have two stores. We have one for Rose Red Homestead for the products that we show there and then one for Trail Grazers. 
uh, which is our other YouTube channel. And um, there are some things that overlap both. So check both stores. Next, I want to show you how we have um, adjusted our grain mill so that it doesn't put dust out into the air. Now, the first thing I did was I went to our um, the place where we keep all of our medications and I found a little jar um, that it was clear. I think it had glycerin in it and it was exactly a two inch diameter. And I put that right up over the spout and just taped it in place. And then I took this Rubbermaid um, dish and cut a little square and then I put it so that now the grain goes directly into the bowl with very, very little dust dispersed in the air or around. So I just want to show you real quick. But someone said, don't you have to have it running before you put the uh, grain in? And the answer is no, not on this one. We don't, except for a few grains. So when I do fine grain flour, this works just great. Now, when I do cracked grain, cereal the splatter is wider but the chunks are heavier and so I don't need that lid so that was a quick and easy fix I just had to find a little bottle the right diameter two inches is what you need Now, in other news, we've had a couple of requests. Bring Cindy back on. Bring Cindy back on. That's my sister who just delighted our audience several times that she's been in videos and her husband, John, as well. And we did do a video with them. We drove up to Salt Lake um, earlier this week and we did a video for them on meals for taking on uh, the trail when going skiing. And you can find that video over on Trail Grazers and I'll put the link at the end of this uh, video so that those of you who want to uh, jump over to Trail Grazers can see that one. Now for bookstore news. Now our bookstore is hosted, as many of you may have um, noted, is hosted on a platform that is called Payhip, P-A-Y-H-I-P. Our address for our bookstore is right here and you will notice that it is payhip slash Rose Red Homestead. That's where we have our books. Well, we are about to open our pressure canning step-by-step -step course. It will open on the 14th of this month, Valentine's Day, and it will be in our bookstore. And uh, once, once they offered the option of having courses and not just books on their platform, we jumped. And I'm so glad it was very, um, very easy to put the um, content up there on Payhip. It will be easy for you to find since many of you are used to going to our bookstore anyway. So on the 14th, our pressure canning course will open. It's $49, which is the buy of the century. It is uh, five lessons. And I think we did, Jim, what, 17, 17. videos? Sounds about yeah, 17 videos that will be exclusively in that course and will not be on Rose Red. So if you are interested in that course, it will be available on the 14th. Just go to the bookstore. Now about our water bath canning class that is currently on a different platform called Thinkific. Um, that Thinkific platform, we are going to shut down our course there at the end of this year, December 31st. And we are going to take new students only up until I move the content from Thinkific over to Payhip. Hopefully in just the next three or four weeks, the, pre the uh, water bath canning course will also be part of our bookstore. We will stop taking students at that time. Um, it will probably be early March when that happens. We'll stop taking um, students on the Thinkific side and we'll take, only take new students from our bookstore. Uh, but those of you that are already enrolled, no worries whatsoever. Thinkific will be open until the 31st of December of this year, so that will give you plenty of time for finishing. 
Um, in more bookstore news, I am working currently on a new bread book. Has nothing to do with the bread maker. I started this before the bread maker uh, question was asked. And this is a book that I'm really taking my time on. I'm doing deep research uh, and going to experts who have written books on bread baking. There's lots and lots of fancy things that you can do with making bread. I'm not going in that direction with this book. This book is how to do basic, good, nutritious breads, a variety, um, but also those that would be conducive to also switching over to off-grid. And um, some of the recipes I'm adjusting, some are my own, and it is taking quite a while for me to not just do the recipes and research, but also to practice in our in-home kitchen and also in our off-grid kitchen. So I'm testing the recipes in both places. But just know that that book will be coming. I'm not going to be doing a book a month anymore. I'm just going to be doing good quality, deeply researched books on topics that are of interest to you. So watch for that one to come out and I'll give you plenty of notice when it is about ready. We're also announcing that we're going to have a monthly book sale on one book. And we're starting with our very best seller, which is the book that my sister Cindy and I wrote. It's the big book on food storage. And that sale will last one week at the last week of each month. So the, the last seven days of February, that book will go on sale for 20% off. And then we'll do a different book in March. And then we'll see how it's going and what we may do in April and beyond. So that concludes our news for this Micro Moment Monday. And we celebrate with you for all of the good things that you are comp accomplishing within your own homes for self-reliance, food security, and emergency preparedness. So thanks for being with us, and we'll see you at our next video.